This is the Music History Today podcast for July 14th. Happy Bastille Day to the French listeners. On today's show, the MPEG-1 gets a name change, a soon-to-be famous judge makes Tom Jones pay some child support, and the Who begin. First up, though, on this date in 1795, the song La Marseillaise became the French national anthem. In 1954, Lillian Leach and the Mellows recorded the song Smoke From Your Cigarette. In 1967, The Who started their American tour. They were the opening act for Herman's Hermits. In 1969, the movie Easy Rider with the hit song from Steppenwolf Born to be Wild premiered in movie theaters. Also in 1969, Bob Dylan and the band were surprise performers at the Mississippi River Rock Festival. In 1973, Gary Glitter played live for the first time. Also on that same day, the Everly Brothers broke up in the middle of a concert in California. It was supposed to be their final concert anyway. They just decided at the last minute to have a fight during the concert. In 1977, the Sex Pistols had their ban on the BBC lifted in order for them to play their song Pretty Vacant. In 1980, artist manager Alan Klein started his two-month prison sentence for income tax evasion. Also in 1980, Brian Ferry became sick from a kidney infection during a tour of Europe and had to go to England for treatment. In 1984, Eddie Van Halen joined Michael Jackson on stage during Michael's Victory Tour concert and played guitar, including his famous solo during the song Beat It. In 1988, Michael Jackson started his first solo tour of Great Britain. Also in 1988, WYHY Radio in Nashville, Tennessee offered $1 million to anyone who showed up at their studio with Elvis Presley. The actual Elvis, not an impersonator. At the time, the, quote, Elvis faked his own death and is still alive, and quote, conspiracy theory ran wild, much like the Paul is Dead conspiracy theory of the 1960s, or pick any QAnon theory at this moment here. In 1989, a family court judge in New York City ordered singer Tom Jones to pay model Catherine Berkery child support. The judge was Judge Judy Shendlin a.k.a. TV judge, Judge Judy, who was a practicing judge before she got her TV show. In 1992, Olivia Newton-John announced that she had breast cancer. In 1995, Michael Bolton performed at the grand opening ceremony for the Meadows Music Theater in Hartford, Connecticut. In 1995, same day, a name was given to a new form of audiophile. It was originally called the MPEG-1 Audio Layer 3. On this day, it became simply known as the MP3. We discuss about the MP3, sort of, the mother of the MP3, actually, on this week's Music History In-Depth Podcast, which has already dropped by the time you've heard my voice on this podcast. It is on this particular network, please like and subscribe. It's a good one. We also talk about Disco Demolition Night and also about Live Aid. In 2008, the makers of Rock Band 2 announced that the new version of the video game would have Guns N' Roses' new song, Shackler's Revenge. In 2010, Ann Kirsten Kennis filed a lawsuit against Vampire Weekend, their record label, and a photographer claiming that she never gave anyone approval to use her image for the cover of Vampire Weekend's album Contra. In 2013, Tina Turner married music executive Erwin Bach. In 2014, Johnny Winter played in concert for the final time. He passed away two days later on July 16th. In 2018, Drake broke the record for most songs on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart when 27 songs of his hit the chart when his double album Scorpion was released a week earlier. And in 2022, The Weeknd kicked off his first stadium tour. In classical music in 1682, composer Henry Purcell was appointed head organist at the Chapel Royal in London, England. 
In theater in 1951, the musical Make a Wish opened on Broadway, and in 1996, the musical How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on July 14th in 1987, Steve Miller received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and in 1993, the United States Postal Service issued four new stamps honoring Broadway musicals, My Fair Lady, Showboat, Oklahoma, and Porgy and Bess. Albums that were released on July 14th in the UK include in 1967 when the Bee Gees released Bee Gees First. Meanwhile, in America, in 1970, Supertramp released their self-titled album. In 1977, Billy Preston released A Whole New Thing. In 1985, Elton John released Your Songs. In 1986, Bob Dylan released Knocked Out, Loaded. In 1992, Megadeth released Countdown to Extinction. And the songs from the Cool World movie soundtrack were released. In 1994, Elliot Smith released Roman Candle. In 1995, Sister Sledge released Live in Concert. In 1998, Asa Bass released Flowers, the Beastie Boys released Hello Nasty, the Counting Crows released Across a Wire live in New York City, the Knack released Zoom, and the Tragically Hip released Phantom Power. In 2007, The Church released Deep in the Shallows, the classic singles collection. In 2009, Judas Priest released A Touch of Evil Live, and David Bowie released his VH1 Storytellers concert. And in 2014, John Hyatt released Terms of My Surrender. Singles that were released in the UK on July 14th include in 1967 when David Bowie released Love You Till Tuesday. In 1972, The Hollies released Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress. In 1978, The Moody Blues released Steppin' in a Slide Zone. And Bob Dylan released Baby Stop Crying. In 1980, Michael Jackson released Girlfriend. In 2003, Jane's Addiction released Just Because. Meanwhile in America, in 1958, the Drinkard Singers, whose members included Dionne Warwick and Sissy Houston, released the gospel song Rise Shine. In 1964, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Such a Night and Never Ending. In 1967, Gary Lewis and the Playboys released Jill. In 1970, Elvis Presley released I've Lost You. In 1973, the Isley Brothers released That Lady, Part 1. In 1976, America released Amber Cascades. In 1987, Prince and Sheena Easton released You Got the Look. And in 2017, Becky G released Mayores. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 14th include folk legend Woody Guthrie, Dan Reynolds of Imagine Dragons, Taboo of the Black Eyed Peas, Tiny Cottle of Escape, Ellen Reed of the Crash Test Dummies, Tanya Donnelly of Throwing Muses, also the Breeders, and also the group Belly. Keyboardist Igor Koryshev of Yes, Chris Cross of Ultravox, country music singer Del Reeves, talent manager and music executive Tommy Matola, Dan Smith of Bastille, music groupie and former wife of Todd Rundgren, Babe Buell, Pete Loman Powling of The Five Royals, singer Tamika Harris, singer Aryana Saeed, Twins Clifford and Claude Trenier, Ty Hunter of the group The Voice Masters, country music star Ray Herndon, bassist John Maurer of the group Social Distortion, rapper Monoxide Child of the group Twisted, 
singer Gwen Guthrie, not to be confused with the Washington, D.C. correspondent Gwen Guthrie, singer and actress Polly Bergen, songwriter Mayjan Wilkin, composer Gerald Finzi, and violinist Willie Hess. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 14th include keyboardist and composer Johann Muthel, who passed away in 1788 at the age of 60. Composer Esteban Salas y Castro passed away in 1803 at the age of 77. Violinist Ferdinand David passed away in 1873 at the age of 63. Composer Alexander Ewing passed away in 1895 at the age of 65. Composer William Mason passed away in 1908 at the age of 79. Composer Louis Gahn passed away in 1923 at the age of 61. Composer Yaroslav Rydke passed away in 1956 at the age of 58. Organist René Guillou passed away in 1958 at the age of 55. Drummer Zuddy Singleton of Louis Armstrong's Hot Five passed away in 1975 at the age of 77. Hindi Films Melodious Music Director Madan Mohan passed away in 1975 at the age of 51. Malcolm Owen of the group The Ruts passed away from a heroin overdose in 1980 at the age of 26. Composer George Tremblay passed away in 1982 at the age of 71. Soul singer Philip Wynne passed away in 1984 at the age of 43. Composer Siegfried Kohler passed away in 1984 at the age of 57. Pianist Hermann Koppel passed away in 1989 at the age of 89. Band leader William D. Ravelli passed away in 1994 at the age of 92. Jazz singer Burl Brinden passed away in 1998 at the age of 78. Drummer Gar Samuelson of the group Megadeth passed away from liver failure in 1999 at the age of 41. Composer Carlos Farinas passed away in 2002 at the age of 67. Composer Joe Harnell passed away in 2005 at the age of 80. Jazz organist Gene Ludwig passed away in 2010 at the age of 73. Composer Bank Johnson passed away in 2010 at the age of 73. Conductor Sir Charles Macaras passed away in 2010 at the age of 84. Guitarist Jeff Labor of the group Cinderella from 1985 to 2014 passed away in 2021 at the age of 58. And singer William Hart of the group The Four Gents and also the Delphonics passed away in 2022 at the age of 77. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 15th when in 2012... Gundam style goes worldwide. 